Hey y'all, it's your girl Shasha and I'm back with another video. She know, she know, she know. Yeah, I'm gonna get rich, but I'm coming right back. We made love in the morning time. Pretty shit, she be moaning up. Let me know if you slime or not. Penny tell I was down and up. Came around with my pockets on eyes. Visit door and I'm dropping the top. I went up, I ain't planning on stopping. The haters on niggas, they doing their job. As you can tell by today's title, I'm gonna be doing a story time for y'all. And it's been a minute because I haven't been doing story time for a while. So, like, this one's got to be good for y'all. So, make sure you stay tuned in. Share this video with a friend, a family. Don't care who it is. Share it. Keep these views pumping because we need these views to keep going to our next goal. And like, subscribe, and comment. And, yeah. Stay tuned for the rest. And also, aka, this is going to be a smoke sesh. So, yeah, if you don't like smoking, get the hell out of here. But if you do, high as a kite never sober. High as a kite never sober. Shit pipe and him with a cobra. Free up my bro Casanova. So anyways, basically what this story time is about is a time when, oh my God, I blacked the fuck out. Why I blacked out? I don't hate Filipinos or whatever he was, but he was something and I was just cheese, bro. Like, cheap guys, you don't even understand the the feeling I felt. Like, it's disrespectful to spit in someone's face. That is so disrespectful. And if you spit in someone's face, you are disrespectful and disgusting. But I feel like I would do that to someone, but only if they really disrespected me on the limit. Because I would never bright myself to spit someone in their face. That is disgusting. That is so nasty. Like, do not ever in your life spit in someone's face. Because that is rude. And I feel bad if they actually kill you next. Because they could kill you. Because that is assault. That is rude. But I'm surprised they didn't get charged. But let me just talk the story. Because you guys are going to be like, huh? What? Wait? When? Huh? Like, it's that serious. Let's get into the video, because I'm already getting cheese while I'm talking about it. But this is a smoke sesh, so like, if you are smoking right now, grab that lighter and light that spliff right now, like right now. But anyways, let's get into it. So, back in 2018, grade 8, St. Columba, Nelson Strip, I don't, Nelson Strip? Soul Strip, Soul Strip, that school. Fuck that school to this day. I don't like that school. Middle fingers up to it. If you still go to that school, I'm sorry. Fuck that. See you with them then it's fuck you to the fullest. I'm sorry. Back then, St. Columba 2018. Huh. I don't even remember what time it was, but we were going out for lunch. So that was probably like nine. No, no. Let's just not set a dead up dub. Um. 10 something but to be 11 i don't know but it was whatever it doesn't matter about the time but anyway they're chilling in the room and there's these two kids yeah there's two kids well there's three of them but two that i don't like talk to like and they're like you know i just play with them and whatever but me and my two other friends that were friends at the time because i don't talk to them now but it was three of us and we love bothering these two kids named um who can I name them? I'm going to just say blacks and white. I'm sorry. It might be racist, but they were black and white. Sorry. But I'm just naming them black and white. But yeah. No, Oreo. Oreo. Because they were. That's what they were. Literally. Not to, not, I'm not trying to be racist. Because I am black rice. Black lives matter. Trust me. Black lives matter. But I'm not being racist. But anyways, yeah. Black and white. I mean, Oreo. The duo. Me and my friends used to love bothering them. And I think we... Okay, I think we were hitting them with a hanger. Might sound it might sound so bad, but it was not like that. It was not beating them with a hanger, but I think we were hitting them with a hanger. And yes, I am in the wrong for hitting them with a hanger, but it was it was a game. It was a game and it's a stupid game because you know elementary kids always have these stupid games to play and it always comes out fun, but someone always gets hurt or someone always gets something. And clearly, I was the one that got something. And when I tell you guys, I 
I just keep getting to that part, but I need to tell you guys. And I have a video, but if I don't get it, by the end, I'm done recording this video and I don't get that video, I'm gonna be cheap. Because you guys need to see that video, because I really like fucked his ass up. Because I was so cheese. But, anyways, yeah, Oreo, we're playing a game and it was just a hanger game and we kept hitting him with the hanger or whatever. So now we finally go up for, um, for lunch now. And we, that game only started in the classroom. But now we're outside for lunch now. And I think um, we were chasing them down the um, stairs to go up for lunch or whatever. So then um, the way our field does, as, if you go to St. Columba, if you know St. Columba, if you know the backyard, I mean the, the back of the school, then you know what I'm talking about. Unless they changed it. But yeah, when you go outside the back doors, like facing the literally that one park right there, once you go this way and then this way again to go back there that's where we ran so we ran back there where the nets were yeah back there and then freaking i think we're still playing with them and whatever so this this kid i'm gonna call him the kid because he's he just hmm, i don't have no name for him the kid this kid comes out of nowhere running down the hallway i'm running down the stairs out of nowhere out of nowhere trying to join the game mind you yes cookie and cream is friends with him but i do not like him we did not like him me and my other two friends we did not like him at, like we did not fuck with him like we were annoyed but he was like he's a smart ass still i don't get me wrong he's smart but he's just i hated him but anyways and he wore glasses too like oh my god but anyways yeah freaking what's it called again yeah, so he comes out of nowhere, out of nowhere, running down the stairs, out of nowhere. But mind you, me and my friends are still playing with Cookie and the Cream Boat, the hanger. Kid comes out of nowhere, grabs the hanger, breaks it. Because he grabbed it from me, I think, and broke it, because it broke. But like, what the hell? So I was like, why are you even like, I was like, I don't even know what I said, but I'm just going to just imitate what i know i would say or probably what i would say now if it was today i just said like what are you doing like why are you taking it from me like what is wrong with you this kid is never gonna say don't hit my friend you fucking nasty ass motherfucker that's nasty man I swear to God on everything I love, the spit, it touched right here, started dripping down, stopped right here, and dropped down. I swear to God on everything I love, it did that. And I swear to God, I stopped. Everyone was in shock because they're like, huh? I stopped and I'm like, that guy did the dash. He knew, he knew, like, that's rude. Who, like, who says that's allowed? Who, like, who taught you that was allowed? Like, that's so rude. Like, I swear to God, I would never spit on someone's face. And, like, it's not expect to get fucked up because that is so rude. I stopped, like, I... I literally, like, my brain literally shut off. Like, I was just like, huh? Like, I was so shocked that he did that to me. Because I did not do anything. I didn't, I did not hit him with no hanger, nothing. He was not involved. He involved himself. And this is what happens when people involve themselves. Don't involve yourself into problems you're not involved in. Because you might get, end up, you like, you might end up getting hurt. And that's what happened. He got hurt. But anyways, I blacked out. Totally blacked out, like froze i was like that's what i did look to my freaking i don't even know where it looked but i looked somewhere and i was looking on the fields because the field is huge so you gotta literally stand there and look to find who you're finding but all i did was this i said where the fuck is that kid that's why i said where the fuck is that kid but I said his name, obviously. But yeah, I was like, where the fuck is whatever his name is? Man's sprinting it to, through the grass. Sprinting it, trying to find a teacher. Sprinting it. I'm chasing the man. Like, at first, I was literally walking. Like, bro, you guys know my walk. I'll post it, too. You guys know my walk. I was walking, stomping through the 
the yard. I was stomping. These little kids are like watching me like I'm a fucking Grinch. I was so mad. I face was like stomping through the grass, stomping, 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 trying to find this kid. The kid's running from me, sprinting it. I finally see him walking to him. The kid's still sprinting. I'm walking. Then he finally sees the teacher and he tries to hide behind them. You know what I did? Do you know what I did? Do you want to know what I did? I dragged his ass like, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I dragged his ass right from the teacher like, where are you going? I didn't even care. Like, once you disrespect me, teachers can't tell me nothing. They can't tell me nothing. Tashaya, no. Tashaya, nothing. Don't say Tashaya, no. Don't say Tashaya. Don't even call me. Don't say Tashaya, nothing. But anyways, I dragged his ass. Holy shit. This bitch just went. And it's, yo, literally, I'm just feeding it to him. I just, oh my God, yo. Feeding it to him, feeding it to him, feeding it to him. The guy's glasses flew off, bro. I'm like feeding it to him, feeding it to him. Like, I swear to God, I was thumping his feet, kicking him. All, like, and then I ended up walking away. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Then also, wait, I, I missed on this part. I missed that part. You're never going to come try to spit on me and think I'm not going to spit back on you. All I take my spit and just go. Damn. <laughs> I caught that. Spit back on his ass. She's just like, you're disgusting. There's no, there's no way you're gonna tell me I'm disgusting. You don't even know half of the story. I don't care if you just seen the spit in the air. My girl, don't talk to me. Like, and that teacher too. Like, she's all the next one. That's why I fucking hate um Saint Columba. Those teachers just piss me off. But anyways, hmm, I just marched my ass back to go back to play with my friends. These principals want to come to me after um, three, uh, lunch is over talking about come to office. I didn't even let you guys know the main reason why I was so mad and also why, like I blacked out because he spit on me. But other than that, main reason why I was so pissed off. But I never thought I it would never get to this point to, like, actually tell me, like, you cannot go no more. But those times was, like, probably June. I don't remember where they started tracking elementary. But anyways, it was track and field those times. And I made it to the second semis. I made it to semis for shot put. And I came first in my first, um, whatever it's fucking called. But anyways, yeah, I came first in that one. So I made it to the next, like next step and my principal was never gonna look me in my eye and tell me to try you can't go you're suspended how how am i suspended how am i suspended and let me like this is why i don't fuck with that school like i don't fuck with that school at all and especially it's only be, it's not the school like let me stop blaming it on the school it's not the school it's the people there it's the principals it's the teachers like i just hate when teachers like don't like use their common sense like don't like don't do that like I was so heartbroken, cheese, so everything, because I wanted to make it to cities again. Like, bro, one thing about me in elementary, those times when I was young, taking sports away from me, till this day, till like I'm, I'm like sport taking sports away from me. Like, are you crazy? That would make me lose my mind. Like, I was so cheese. I swear to God, I left school. I went home. I went home. I was like, no way. They're never gonna tell me that I can't go because I got suspended. How am I getting suspended? Because I fought him? Okay, he spit in my face. And I told her that. I said, I was not bothering this, sorry. I was not bothering this kid. So I don't know how he could possibly, how, I, no, I was not bothering this kid. So how was that even, how does that even make sense for me to get suspended? It's self-defense if anything. What the hell? The kid spit in my face. And you know what's so funny too? The week, the week before that, um, yeah, a couple weeks before that, this little white girl, I have to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to say little white girl, cause she, nah, she cheesed me the fuck off, but anyways, she must have went to, um, the principal too then times and said how I give her nightmares because of an old fight, which I'll post right here too, I give her nightmares because of an old fight, which I was not touching her, 
that is not her in the video but I give her nightmares. So she told the principal that I give her nightmares and the principal thinks that I'm a threat to the school now. And I was just like, huh? Like little shit because she's white, you wanna listen to her because of a fight that didn't even happen on school grounds. You're telling me because of a fight she has nightmares. Okay, so what should I say? Oh, because she wears pink underwears, I'm scared. Are you gonna tell her that she's a threat to the school too? Like what? Like, that school just so fucked up to me, honestly. Like, when I graduated, I had to tell the principal, fuck you, and leave. Because, like, I don't even want my picture up in that school. That's how I'm bad at, like, I don't fuck with that school at all. Like, at all. At all. They diss me too much. They diss me too much. <sighs> they diss me too much. And this is the reason why now, today, weed is my best friend. Because honestly, without weed, I would probably still go in blackout every time. Like now, I just can just literally sit back and smoke a slip and think about it, reminisce about those days. Because honestly, like it just like fucked up. It's fucked up. I blacked the app out. You're never gonna spit in my face. Are you dumb? 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 Like that is a worse like. It's worse than getting beat up. Getting spit in your face is disgusting. That's someone's saliva that's been sitting in their mouth. Been sitting in their mouth. And especially the rude ones. Like, the rude one I did back to him. Like, he did. He just spit whatever he had in his mouth. And it was clearly a lot. And that's disgusting because it drew. How does it start from here and just go? No. My rude one, though, I did. Like. Right. Took all that 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 nasty yo saliva, all that shit from my throat, and just on his face because I was not having it. No, but if you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully this gets me enough views, cause yeah, you know I'm full of entertainment, all that. I know it was supposed to be a smoke sesh, but your girl just had to get into it because yo story times like don't get me started. All my story times are real facts all that like i do not cap on my story times at all never if i don't remember what happened like i'll tell you yeah i don't even remember but i'm gonna say this like typical things but other than that i do not cap on my story times so if you want to fuck with a real youtuber that says everything straight up like 100 percent no lies then fuck with me that's what you gotta do and make sure you subscribe and like this video deuces <laughs>